Hello friends, welcome to Cygnus Tutorials. Today we will see how to increase C drive space. C drive getting out of space has become one of the most frequent issue for Windows users. In our last video, we saw how to free up some of the space or clean up some of the space in C drive. And uh, now we will see how to release the space from other drives such as D drive, E drive and assign that to the C drive. Let's get started. Uh, for this we will be uh, will be able to do most of the operations with uh, Windows inbuilt features and for uh, some of the operations such as the movement of unallocated space we need a third party product such as uh, East US the first step you have to right click let me show you first what is the status of my drives So as you can see here, my C drive has almost reached 80% uh, of the usage and uh, but I have lot of space in my D drive. So that's what uh, you can uh, see from uh, the screen, screen available. So I'm planning to move, take off some of the space from D drive and uh, add that to C drive. So I will show you how we can do that. So right click this PC or my computer and click on manage and go to disk management. So right now if you uh, right click C drive you have options like uh, shrink volume uh, using which you will be able to reduce the size of C drive but uh, right now the, we are not looking for that. Instead, we will be looking for extending the space of a C drive. But unfortunately, as you can see, that option is grayed out. So we are going to uh, enable it in a couple of minutes. So as I as I have told in my uh, PPT, for extension, the unallocated space should be available immediately after the drive. So here I do not see any unallocated space. So that is the reason the option for extent volume is not enabled. So now the first step, as a first step, we are going to create unallocated space immediately after C drive. So let, let's do that. Uh, for doing that, I'm going to uh, make some of the space in D drive as unallocated. I will show you how to do it. Right click the D drive and uh, click shrink volume. So here you, you need to enter the space in MB that you want to take off from D drive. For example, if uh, out of this 58 GB, if you want to uh, make 20 GB as unallocated you have to give 20 GB over here so uh, you can uh, if you want to convert the 20 GB into MBs you can use uh, 20 GB to MB in Google and you will be getting in terms of MB so you can paste that MB so now we are going to uh, take off 20 GB from D drive. So I am going to click on shrink. So now you got around 20 GB. So not exactly 20 GB but uh, I got 19.53 GB as un unallocated after uh, D drive. So again since the, this unallocated space is not available immediately after C drive. So if I right click C I am still not getting extent volume. 
but if I right click D drive, I will be getting extend option because I have unallocated space immediately after my D drive. So now our next step is going to uh, bringing of unallocated space from uh, uh, I mean uh, from from this place to the place which is available between C and D. So for this purpose, uh, the features available within Windows are not sufficient. So we have to uh, install uh, third-party products to accomplish this. So I'm going to use one of the freeware tool, which is I have given in my slide. It is Ease As. So go to the first link which you are getting, and then. Go to Partition Manager and for Home and Home Office Partition Manager, Partition Manager Free. Click on the same and uh, download it. We have to download uh, Partition Master Free version. Click on Free Download. So it, it is around 30 MB. Since I have already downloaded, I am going to cancel this out. So once you download this, uh, once you download this, double click, double click the exe file, and uh, you can, it is a pretty straightforward, simple installation steps. You can give yes, and uh, I would recommend you to be careful on uh, choosing uh, customized installations, and uh, it will be asking for some of the free words which you may not require so you can uh, uncheck those options and install only the required software to your system so once you install uh, this freeware which is ease us with that we are going to bring in this unallocated space somewhere between c and d so for this is the software that we have installed i'm going to open up and click on ESS Partition Master Free. So now I'm going to right click on D drive and click on Resize and Move Partition. So now I have an uh, unallocated space over here and the actual D drive which is highlighted in dark blue. So I'm going to hold my uh, left mouse key on the blue bar and with that hold I am going to drag towards right. That's it. So now I got my unallocated space between C and D as you can see here. So now you can click OK. And uh, you have to apply these changes inside East US. So you have apply option over here. So I'm going to apply. So ask me for a confirmation. You can click yes. So even if you do not have free space on D drive, say for example you have uh, uh, free space and somewhere in F drive you can shrink F drive and uh, move the portion step by step to the D drive with the method which we are doing right now so it is done now unallocated space has come between C and D I am going to click OK and it is going to get updated on the system so now it is done you can close this US you can close this window as well Again, go to computer, computer management. And now you see an unallocated space between C and D. So I'm going to check if I have extend uh, drive option when I right click C. Yes, I got it. So I now have uh, extend volume. So I'm going to click on extend volume and uh, click on next. So I would like you like you to make a note of uh, the current C drive size, which is 57, around 60 GB. So click next. So now this 
19.9 MB. I'm sorry, 19.53 GB, which is unallocated, has been selected. So this will be taken for our extension. Once I click next, so it's asking for a confirmation. You can click finish. So now our C drive size has increased. Now it is around 80 GB. So this is how you have to uh, increase your C drive size. In other way, taking off space from other drive and putting in, uh, uh, including that into C drive. So I hope this video is helpful. Please share your comments and suggestions. I will meet you in my next video. Thank you.